We're gonna be doing a layered round head. And you can do this with any kind of drop coat. You can do it with Westie head, Yorkie head, Maltese, Shih Tzu, anything with hair that's gonna fall. This is the best way to get a perfectly layered head, okay? So I start out, <clears throat> I like to do the corners of the eyes first. Stop. And I do it with thinning shears to give it a little bit more of a natural kind of a look. And I like to go in a little bit in between the eyes because if you don't, these few pieces of hair that fall over the front are gonna come forward. So I come in and I move my thinner a little bit so that you don't get exact precise lines. It looks a little bit more natural, okay? It's a little bit blended there. So to layer the head, I take all the hair, corner of the eye to the corner of the ear, across, back to the corner of the eye. So a nice square on the head, okay? I gather it all up in my fingers and I do a half moon shape around the head. When you let that go, it naturally falls and starts to layer the head, okay? Next what I do is for the ears. I comb everything out straight to the end of the ear. Fold the ear in half, okay? Fold the ear in half, put it between your fingers like this and pull the hair to the end, like this. All the hair up to the point that you shaved gets cut. That sets that sets that line on the outside of the ear. Okay? Same thing on the other side. Fold the ear in half. Comb everything out. Hold it with your fingers and come up to the bottom of the line where you tip the ears. Okay, I've just set the outside lines of the ear. So I've set the ear lines, I've started to layer the top of the head. Come here. Now what I do is I grab the hair on the side of the head and I pick it up in my fingers like that and I start to create a circle. Do the same thing on the other side. Do his visor. Stop. And then from that line I created on the outside of the two ears, I bring the circle of the bottom half of the face up to that. So I start in the middle and I go right up to the neckline and I start cutting all the way up to where I created that line with the ear. Good boy, bruiser. Good. Good boy. I, I stay. Stay. Okay. 
Now, come on. Then I take the hair from the muzzle, push it forward, comb it out this way, and I create a circle up this way. Stay. Make sure that while you're doing this, you're holding the mouth shut with your hands so they can't stick their tongue out. I comb it down, I check the circles, because not only do you want to circle this way, you want to circle this way. So I look at the lines, I want to bring this in, at, do the same thing on the other side. No, thinning shears. You'll get chop marks with straights. If it was a poodle and I was doing a round face, I would use a, a curved shear. But for drop coats, you have to use thinners. Or you, it just doesn't come out as soft. So I recheck my lines for any hair sticking out. And of course, this would all be scissored down, this line into the neck. I comb it forward to look for any hairs out of place. And then I pop my fingers behind his ears and put my fingers under his jaw. And I take a look. I see a couple of hairs out of place. Shh. And you got a nice layered round head, symmetrical all the way around. If you do that on a Westie head before you tease it out, and then you put in some cholesterol and chalk and a little hairspray, you'll have a nice rounded head. And you do it from that line from where you shave the ears. And you can take this hair and just blend it down into the neck.